Browns losers in preseason game number three, 21-22, the Chicago Bears. Of course, uh, that doesn't really matter, Mary Kay. What matters is as we barrel towards Tuesday and the roster cut down day at 4 p.m. and sort of what we know about this team going into the regular season. And I think the first element of this is we got our first real look at Jacoby Brissett tonight. Yeah, and I think uh, the most important thing about Jacoby Brissett tonight is that he got out of here healthy. That is what they really needed. He played six series. He didn't have a lot of help. We're going to get to that. Uh, and he didn't have much of his supporting cast around him. No Amari, no Nick Chubb, no Kareem Hunt, not the full offensive line. Uh, but, you know, he operated the offense. And for what he was asked to do tonight, he did just fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you came away from tonight this is sort of who Jacoby is, right, Ashley? Yeah, and we, when we ran our poll at cleveland.com for readers to grade Jacoby's performance, I thought it was really fitting that so far the results have come back pretty, re pretty resoundingly giving him a C grade, which I think is pretty fair. Jacoby Brissett didn't make a ton of mistakes. He did have that interception. Nothing overly spectacular in terms of explosive plays from him. And, of course, like Mary Kay said, there are certain instances where he didn't get much help. But overall, I think it was an okay day for Jacoby. And like she said, he didn't get hurt. So that's really, I think, the most important important takeaway from tonight. Well, let's stop dancing around it. As we've mentioned a couple times, he did not get help, and a lot of that falls on the shoulders of Anthony Schwartz, who had a very difficult night tonight, uh, dropped a couple of passes, also on a route, got knocked over, and that led to a Jacoby Brissett interception. It just seemed like he could have done a better job on that play, Mary Kay. Uh, what's going to happen with Anthony Schwartz here? You know what? They have to help him rebuild his confidence. That is going to be the thing uh, that they have to work on with him over the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know, he had a bad game in Jacksonville, then he kind of rebounded. He put himself back together and had a pretty decent showing against the Eagles in the practices and in that game. But this was a setback for him tonight. He had what's considered, I think, to be three drops. As you mentioned, he got knocked over on what became the interception. Uh, he, you know, he just was not himself at all and not what we've seen in practice. And that can hurt a young guy's confidence. So uh, it will be incumbent upon them uh, to give him some high percentage play going forward and to do whatever they can to get him back. And, you know, Ashley, I don't have a problem if he makes this roster. I understand if they want to continue to develop him, but you know, I wrote after the game, it just feels like they're a receiver short, and this performance tonight from him just kind of drove that home. They just can't rely on him right now. Yeah, I agree, and I mean, we've kind of been talking about how they feel a receiver short still, particularly a veteran receiver short who can come in and be a true Amari, uh, be a true number two in case something happens to Amari Cooper, especially but I just think overall, like Mary Kay was saying, I think it has to be something mental with him at this point because it cannot just physically be an issue that he's not repping this enough. I mean, we see him go out there and do it in practice, but now it's a matter of figuring out what mentally he needs to do to kind of get this fixed and be able to do it when the bright lights come on. Okay, each of us are going to offer one quick thing here at the end of the preseason. I'm going to go with the safety position. Kind of a surprise here. We've talked about Andrew Barry cutting draft picks. Anthony Schwartz has been a name that's been out there and other guys, but I'm starting to think DeAnthony Bell might be the fourth safety in the playing time tonight. Seemed to show that. he was the Ronnie Harrison did not play. He's out with an injury, and Bell was the next safety up. So I'm starting to think maybe he is the fourth safety, which is bad news for Richard the Count. Mary Kay, what's your preseason takeaway? Uh, you know, I, I just want to mention real quickly that, uh, you know, they didn't get out of this game completely unscathed. Grant Delpit left with a game-ending injury, and so did Wyatt Teller. Now, we saw Wyatt Teller walk out with a wrap on his knee. He seemed to be walking okay. Uh, Grant has a little bit of a hip injury, uh, but I think that's, you know, that's the thing that you always hope in these preseason games is that you emerge unscathed. And uh, Kevin Stefanski doesn't think it's serious for either of those guys, but the secondary has been banged up, and they cannot afford to be without Grant, uh, who is due for a very big season. So something to watch. Yeah, and with Wyatt, Joel Batonio made a big deal about him playing every snap last year, so I know he takes a lot of pride in that. I'm sure he'll be out there, but you just hate to see guys get hurt in this last game. Ashley, what about you? Yeah, I think my biggest takeaway is pretty simple, that David Bell, I think, is going to be a real contributor to this offense and may have been a diamond in the rough in this draft. I mean, I think we see it tonight that he doesn't necessarily have that vertical speed, but he has football speed. He's really good at changing speeds. He's where he's supposed to be when he's running his routes, and that's very quarterback friendly, as Lance Reisland told me when I was talking to him tonight about David Bell and I just think this draft class was so star studded with receivers because of his 40 time he went under the radar but the more we see him the more it's obvious why the Browns liked him so much. Okay Browns like I mentioned losers in this game 21-20 the next game is going to be for real it's at Carolina it's on September 11th and oh 
our old buddy Baker Mayfield is starting that game for the Carolina Panthers. So we're going to have a ton to talk about between now and then, and we'll do it all at cleveland.com slash browns.